believe I did one of these a couple of years ago, but it's great to be back and uh, sharing where I'm at in my career and, and how things are progressing. So I'm currently entering my third season of writing for FantasySharks.com. And two summers ago, Fantasy Sharks always runs a looking for a few good writers. And for like a month, you can just submit stuff and, and they look at it and they reached out to me and first asked me if it was all original work and then second if I would like to come and write for them. At the time I was writing for a free site, Fancy Football Oasis, that, that gave me a shot and um, they offered me the job and now I'm writing two articles a week in season so it's, uh, it, it's a pleasure to be writing for them. For this season I'm very excited for the first time uh, I'll have some of my work in print which there's not a lot of these days. It seems like uh, you know the internet is a lot of it but yeah, Fantasy Sharks is uh, providing player capsules for all of the uh, NFL players for the fantasy football magazine that USA Today publishes every late June, early July. So that'll be at all your Rite Aids or CVS's and Barnes and Nobles. And uh, I did 90 capsules on running backs and 32 capsules on uh, team defenses that will be published in the uh, magazine. I'm currently the Tuesday night co-host on the Kellogg's Comments uh, weekly podcast on Block Talk Radio Sports Network. And uh, that's along with Greg Kellogg, who is in the Fantasy Sports Writer Hall of Fame, and right now it's on Tuesday nights from 7.30 to 9, and for this fall and next season, we're going to switch to Thursday nights, I believe it's going to go from 7 to 9, and then I'm also going to be doing a Sunday morning podcast with Greg, leading you right up into uh, kickoff, I believe we're going to go for two or three hours on Sundays, that's all being hammered out still, and also what dates we're going to switch over, so right now it's still Tuesdays, but for the season, uh, during the season, which will probably be, we'll switch over in August, will be Sunday mornings and Thursday nights. We run a series every year where we interview some college football players as the draft approaches after the combine and then before the draft. And we had a chance to interview first round selection Calvin Pryor of the New York Jets, who went to Louisville, strong safety. We also interviewed Crockett Gilmore, which is a tight end that was drafted in the third round by the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, I believe he played for Colorado State. And we also interviewed. Um, Mega agent, Lee Steinberg, uh, his only entry into this year's draft, Garrett Gilbert, who was drafted by the St. Louis Rams this year. So it's always a pleasure when you get to talk to these kids, and, and it's a bonus when they actually do get drafted. Uh, this was our most successful year as far as kids that we interviewed that made it to the NFL. So, you know, it's always a lot of fun to talk to these kids about their love of the game. You know, it reinvigorates ours, and, you know, and it's, it's surprising how many of them actually play fantasy football. So it's not like we need to build an in as to why we're uh, – interviewing them they just you know and and some of them come back and talk to us later in the, in the regular season let us know what it's like to be in the nfl i'm looking to attend next year's nfl draft it'll be the first time ever i'm a huge fan of it and i watch it every year but i've never actually attended live where i would get a chance to meet a lot of these kids there or their agents and also my fellow fantasy writers as well as you know the people that work for espn and nfl network who both have their own fantasy guys so next year's draft they have not solidified it yet it will be probably either in Los Angeles or Chicago so whichever place it goes to you know I, I, attend, I plan on attending for the first time live in person so that that's very exciting well thank you it's been a pleasure being on the show